Yusuf Karsh, CCRCAFRPS, December 23, 1908, July 13, 2002, was a Canadian photographer known for his portraits of notable individuals. He has been described as one of the greatest portrait photographers of the 20th century. An Armenian genocide survivor, Karsh migrated to Canada as a refugee. By the 1930s he established himself as a significant photographer in Ottawa, where he lived most of his adult life, though he traveled extensively for work. His iconic 1941 photograph of Winston Churchill was a breakthrough point in his 60-year career, through which he took numerous photos of known political leaders, men and women of arts and sciences. Over 20 photos by Karsh appeared on the cover of Life magazine, until he retired in 1993. Here are some of his famous quotes. It should be the aim of every photographer to make a single exposure that shows everything about the subject. I have been told that my portrait of Churchill is an example of this. Look and think before opening the shutter. The heart and mind are the true lens of the camera. Character, like a photograph, develops in darkness. Within every man and woman a secret is hidden, and as a photographer it is my task to reveal it if I can. The revelation, if it comes at all, will come in a small fraction of a second with an unconscious gesture, a gleam of the eye. A brief lifting of the mask that all humans wear to conceal their innermost selves from the world. In that fleeting interval of opportunity the photographer must act or lose his prize. My chief joy is to photograph the great in heart, in mind, and in spirit, whether they be famous or humble. The trouble with photographing beautiful women is that you never get into the dark room until after they've gone. There is a brief moment when all there is in a man's mind and soul and spirit is reflected through his eyes, his hands, his attitude. This is the moment to record. Within every man and woman a secret is hidden, and as a photographer it is my task to reveal it if I can. I try to photograph people's spirits and thoughts. As to the soul taking by the photographer, I don't feel I take away, but rather that the sitter and I give to each other. It becomes an act of mutual participation. I've also seen that great men are often lonely. This is understandable because they have built such high standards for themselves that they often feel alone. But that same loneliness is part of their ability to create. My personal interest in ordinary people is unlimited, but I am fascinated by the challenge of portraying true greatness adequately with my camera. The art is the challenge which you must meet every day, the technique you should learn to control with time. The science and the art of photography are really one, and not opposed to each other. If there is a single quality that is shared by all great men, it is vanity. But I mean by vanity only that they appreciate their own worth. Without this kind of vanity they would not be great. And with vanity alone, of course, a man is nothing. I have found that great people do have in common an immense belief in themselves and in their mission. They also have great determination as well as an ability to work hard. At the crucial moment of decision, they draw on their accumulated wisdom. Above all, they have integrity. Karsh has been recognized as Canada's leading portrait photographer. In general, he is recognized as one of the best known and great portrait photographers of the 20th century. The Economist wrote upon his death that Karsh was for half a century perhaps the greatest portrait photographer in the monumental manner. The Karsh Award, dedicated to Yusuf and his brother Malik Karsh, is awarded by the City of Ottawa every two years to an established professional artist for outstanding artistic work in a photo-based medium. And here are some of his achievements. Golden Plate Award of the American Academy of Achievement, 1961. Order of Canada, Officer. 1967, Companion, 1990. Canada Council Medal, 1965. Achievement and Life Award, Encyclopedia Britannica, 1980. Gold Medal of Merit, National Society of Arts and Letters, 
1991. Thanks for watching. Please do comment, like, and subscribe to my channel.